Hello, my name is Eugene. This is Cap and Design TV. Welcome to the show. Today on Cap and Design TV, we're going to be taking a look at part two of our VR series. Now, in the first video, if you haven't seen it yet, I actually went through all of Element 3D, so you have a really good understanding of what we're making. Now, today, we're going to be taking a look at another After Effects plugin, uh, continuing this series, called Skybox from a little company called Metal. Though this explanation of the software is going to be very brief, um, we are going to cover the fundamentals of what you're going to need to do to create your Element 3D composition into an ecto-rectangular map. Now from there, we'll also be able to upload it directly to YouTube so you can view it as a 360 video. Really fun. So the first thing we're going to do is take a look at this project that I already have set up. I mean, we can open up the effects controller, we can take a look at the scene, and it's a pretty extensive piece. I mean, I have little TIE fighters that run around, I have this city, there's a landscape involved, this plane is actually an ocean, and then we have a sky which is reflecting off the water. So after you have your Element 3D composition complete, the next thing we're going to do is actually not open Skybox first, but we're going to have to convert it over to a format that Skybox can actually read. So the first thing we're going to do is go to Composition, New Composition. We want the width and the height to be 1000 by 1000. If it's not a square composition, Skybox will actually show up with an error. We're gonna have it 10 seconds long. The frame rate's gonna be 60 frames a second. And just black background is fine. From here, we're going to be going to layer, new, solid, adding a black layer. And then we're going to go back to our first composition, grab element, copy it, go over to comp number two, and just paste it right in. Now it's going to look a little bit different because I already went through and did all the camera fixes. But when we go to Composition 2, we're going to go to File, Scripts, and Skybox Creator. Now this is assuming that you already went through and bought Skybox or Metal. Um, once you have it all set up, you're going to go and hit generate skybox output, but you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have the two node camera on. You use a 3D null camera. And under advanced settings, you're gonna to want to make sure that you have, I am using a 3D plugin, checked, because we're using element 3D. Once we hit generate skybox output, it's gonna start doing its math. Now, right away, you'll notice that we have all these extra cameras set up. And that's because for it to actually compile a ecto-rectangular map, it's going to be setting up six different cameras that are all tied to your main camera for you to uh, pick and choose and view and wherever you need to uh, make sure the camera is where it needs to be inside of your 3D composition. Um, once it takes those six cameras, it's going to create a cubic map. And we can actually go to our project and take a look at this folder called Skybox Output. And from there, we can actually go inside and take a look at this. And this is actually what those six cameras are showing you. So you have your top, you have your front, you have your two sides you have behind you and then you have under you. But it's gonna take all of that and create this composition right here. Now it does look a little bit wonky, that is absolutely fine. I went back earlier and collected the correct position for our camera. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab those, go over to comp number two, paste it in. Then if we go back, it's now fixed. Awesome. Now, if it doesn't generate and refresh automatically, you can actually go back to the refresh skybox output button and just click it and it should do just that. So if we're looking at this entire ecto-rectangular map, 
you'll see that once we start scrubbing through it, you'll see the little TIE fighters are moving around you. You'll see that the ocean is actually moving. If anybody wants a tutorial on how to actually make the ocean move and have waves, uh, leave a comment down below. I'll make a point to get to that. Okay, from here, we're going to go to File. We're going to Export. Export Media Encoder. So to set up your file uh, for export directly from this, I found that if we export it as a PNG sequence, it actually prevents large scale projects from just failing and then you having to start all over. If you have a project that's really complex and it's probably going to take a few days to export, um, PNG sequences are the way to go. And so you got a PNG as your format, a PNG sequence with alpha if you have a transparent background or you can go to match source, okay. Then you just export to someplace safe. So new, uh, I'm gonna call it output. And save, and then we just export. Awesome. So that's actually where we're going to end today's video. Uh, the reason for that is so there's a couple of different reasons why this video is going to be a little bit short. Um, Skybox for Metal, there is going to be a update uh, coming out very soon. And when that happens, I want to make a video specifically on all the new features. And that way I don't have to backtrack a lot of the same information. Um, and I want to split up the content for this process into three videos. That way, if there's only something you need specifically to go back and refresh on or specifically that you need to learn, it will actually help you categorize what you need to need to do. So in the next video, we're going to be, we're going to be talking about uh, taking the PNG sequence, compiling it, having your output file, and then making it available on 360 for YouTube. So anyway, if you learned something, hit the like button. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. If you've seen more than one of these videos before and you haven't yet done so, go ahead and subscribe. We're now in a relationship. Let's make it official. I'm Eugene Cap and this is Cap and Design TV, and I will see you in the next video.